I'm going to go ahead and open up in prayer. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you did the impossible. And that through you, you made everything possible for us. And Father, covered by your blood, we bless you, Holy Spirit, and we open ourselves only to you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, anoint us, bless us, protect us. Father God, send all your angels to minister to us, to watch over us. That your presence, Father God, your light would push evil far, far, far away from us. And Father God, thank you. Thank you that you are our father, our daddy. Thank you that, Lord Jesus Christ, you know us by name. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you know everything about us. And thank you, Father God, that you would bless us with brothers and sisters, with the same heart, the same mind, to worship you in spirit and truth. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise, Lord Jesus Christ. We are your disciples. And it's in your holy name we pray and all God's beloved said, amen. amen. God bless you guys. Hallelujah. Whew. Discipleship. Hallelujah. We're still going to cover some of the things that we went through this uh, past Sunday because Holy Spirit said so. And I'm excited because um, please pray for all of the leadership. Um, Pray for your church, amen. Not just leadership, but pray for your church. Um, the reason why is because we are going through a transition and we have to obey to what Holy Spirit wants us to do. Now, I know I'm not the only one when I say that when something new comes about, it's not always a good hunk of dory feel. You know what I mean? It's not always a yay, right? Am I the only one? Uh, sometimes when change comes, it's what's happening? I don't know about this, but God, this happened in my past, I don't want, right? And I kind of touched on that last night in part of my confession that it's easy to have insecurities and not be obedient to God because of the insecurities that you have fear of. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we only fear God Almighty, amen? Amen. We only fear God Almighty. So when we say this, <coughs> we, we, we have a new season here. It's already here. And it's discipleship. And we're going to draw more intimate with God, deeper in the written word. And how Holy Spirit wants to teach us, you know, here, I mean, just being January, I believe uh, with all my heart that it's something that is going to stick with us until the trumpet sounds. And guess what? It also applies in heaven too. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so, so that's what's so awesome about this. Praise God. In Habakkuk 2.2, it said, Then the Lord replied, write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets, so that a herald, remember herald is news, right? And who is our Lord Jesus Christ? The good news. Amen. Or so that whoever reads it may run with it. And then we got into Habakkuk 2.2 and we broke it down. In what Holy Spirit wanted to show us, just from Habakkuk 2.2, we broke it down into the gospel. We broke it down as far as how God wrote the law. He wrote it down on tablets, right? Not an iPad, not a Kindle, but on stone, right? But then he also spoke. And when he spoke, he spoke when Lord Jesus Christ, this picture right here, when he came out of the water, right? And when he came out of the water... Father spoke the word, the written word, this is my beloved son. Hallelujah. Let's give God praise for that. Hallelujah. This is my beloved son. God Almighty, Father, saying this is the Christ, the Messiah, my perfect lamb, who I sent to die for you. Amen. And so we know that Father God spoke the word, but then we also, that was in Matthew 3 where we, we know about the baptism of the Lord Jesus. But in the next chapter in Matthew 4, we got into how Lord Jesus Christ demonstrated the written word. Amen. Toe to toe with Satan, and he rebuked Satan every time. Did he tell Satan how he felt? 
Did he tell Satan where he stood? Did he tell Satan, no, you don't know me and where I come from? No. It is written. Say it with me. It is written. Your name is written in the book of life. Amen. Your name. Say it with me. My name is written in the book of life. Amen. Hallelujah. Give God praise for that. Amen. My name is written in the, oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'll tell you right now, if that don't get you excited, I don't know. I don't know. Praise God, Holy Spirit, just put a guard across my mouth right now. Amen. Something wrong. <laughs> Write down the revelation, make it plain on tablets. That's what Father God did. So that a herald news, who is the good news, say his name. He is the good news, amen. <laughs> so that whoever reads it may run with it. Say it with me, do the word. And then, of course, we apply this directly to the gospel. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, we like to say agape, amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, it's the perfect life of Lord Jesus Christ. It's the perfect death that he took on that cross. And then, of course, it's the resurrection that we see right there. That you may run with it. So we learn from this past Sunday the importance of documentation. Documenting. You see, it's easy to praise and worship. May I be so bold to say that? It's easy to. You don't like a song on the radio? Pick another station. Right? You don't like the way this preacher preaches? Pick a different preacher. It's easy to praise and worship. It's easy. But it's difficult in the relationship when God speaks to you and he tells you, now I want you to write this down. It takes discipline. Don't you love that word discipline? It sounds like disciple. It takes discipline to hear from God because anybody can say, well, God is God and he can do it if he wants to do it. How many of y'all heard that before? Can I get an amen, right? Well, guess what, Brother Cody? I'm the kind of brother where Holy Spirit told me to write it down. I don't care how many people tell me he's God and he's God and he can do it. I know what God told me to do. Amen? Amen. And praise God, I am telling you what God wants us to do. To write it down. And so when we talk about documentation, it leads us to this next word. Say it with me, dictate. Say it like you mean it, dictate. dictate. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> when you define dictate, this is the verb number one. It says lay down. Say that word for me. I, I practiced. <laughs> I practiced before coming today, Elder Lance, and I couldn't get it. <laughs> lay it down with authority. <laughs> there you go. I should have just retyped it, right? But I just grabbed it from Google. Uh, how do you say it? Hey, my, my mom just laid it down quick. Say it again, mom. Hallelujah. Man. <laughs> I love Sister Tina's cracking up on me. <laughs> Prescribe, right? So here's something. Once again, I have nothing against doctors. Doctors are blessed by God. They have wisdom that comes only from God Almighty. Amen. Regardless what their faith is, it's from God Almighty. Amen. They have wisdom. And it ain't something that when they write down, a prescription. Huh? How many of you know what I'm talking about? Well, wake up, people. All right? Wake up. Seriously. It's kind of insulting. You know? All right? You write down the prescription, and then do they just hand it to you, or they have to talk to you about it? Huh? They have to talk to you about it, right? You hear the prescription, and you go three times a day. Okay. Brother Aaron up there cracking up. <laughs> right? You just, take, you just take what they're saying as herald, as news. This is what I have to do. Right? 
like, okay. I come in for a headache, now I got to take this, and I'm going to have diarrhea, constipation, everything you talk. <laughs> it don't make no sense, right? I'd rather have the headache. <laughs> and praise God that we're covered by the blood of Jesus. We don't have to put up with any of that stuff, amen? But it's good to laugh in God's house, hallelujah. Here's number two. Number two is say or read aloud. And the noun is an order or principle that must, say it with me, must, must be obeyed. This is dictate. Dictate. Amen. So when we talk about dictate in discipleship, we uncovered in Habakkuk 2 that this prophet spoke through the anointing of Holy Spirit. What God did in writing this down, speaking the word of Jesus, doing the mighty work of Jesus through the cross, and running with it for eternity in Holy Spirit. Amen. How is God running the mighty work that, that he has called for Lord Jesus to do? Put your hand over your heart. You are his hands and feet. Amen. Say it with me, born again. Hallelujah. So check this out. So we know that that's the written word. Now we go into dictate and we're going to talk about the spoken word. Amen. Say it with me, spoken word. Say it with me, it is written. I have spoken. Amen. Now, how awesome is it when God puts this together? Bro brothers and sisters, this is beyond us. Amen. All we ask you to do is worship God Almighty. Can I get an amen? amen? Does that make it really easy for you as, as a member of Open Arms Community Church, as, as a member of God's holy church, that all Father God wants you to do is worship Lord Jesus Christ, be obedient to the Holy Spirit, come as you are, love one another. Amen. Don't gripe. Don't complain. Right? Don't bump your gums. Don't have diarrhea of the mouth. Right? Just come as you are and love. Amen. Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah. That's all we want to do. That's all God wants you to do. Amen. God doesn't want you to be like anybody else. God doesn't want you to be like Joey or be like John or be like Charlie or be like Craig. God wants you to be you. You know why? You are going to save souls that only you can reach in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Mm. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So let's exercise what we're learning right now and how Holy Spirit wants to disciple us to not only be effective in the kingdom, but to put kingdom principles in practice here on this earth. Let me repeat that. Kingdom principles applied in how we live our life every day here on earth as his disciples. Amen. So we know we write down the word. And now here we are in the spoken word. You know, it's so beautiful how this is laid out. I said, Father, this is so beautiful how it starts with a D, his document, dictate. We're talking about discipleship. Because you guys know I love stuff like that. It just shows, it just shows God off. That's, that's just how I feel about it. Amen. Only God can do it. And I said, but Father, it would be so awesome if you just tie all this in together in Scripture, in your written word. Amen. Say it with me. Do it. Do it. Say it like you mean it. Do it. Do it. Hallelujah. Let's do it then. Amen. 2 Corinthians 4.13 says this. Therefore, it is written, I believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Do you believe that you died in Jesus Christ? Do you believe that you are resurrected in the Holy Spirit presence of God Almighty? Do you believe that you are a temple of Almighty God? Do you believe that you breathe God Almighty? Do you believe that he flows in every cell in your body? Do you believe that he has angels positioned all around you fighting for you? Do you believe that he has saved your soul for all of eternity? Amen. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Say it with me. I believe. So, hey, so praise God. So we got that. Very important thing right there. We got that established. Brother, I believe. Don't ask me again. I'll hit you. Right? I believe. You don't need to ask me again. I believe. Jesus is my Lord. Holy Spirit lives in me. My Father God loves me. He speaks to me. I worship him. I don't do anything on my own. I talk to him. Hallelujah. In this anointing, in this relationship that we have with the Father, I believe, therefore now I speak. And this is what it says. Therefore I have spoken 
since we have that same spirit of faith, we also believe and therefore speak. So you're telling me, Pastor, that this is the spirit of faith. Yes, I am. Now let's take this moment to really truly examine ourselves, right, and allow God to be God in our hearts and in our minds. Let's take this moment to truly examine how when we hear this word faith, how many of you, I'm going to throw myself under the bus. And please understand, that's what I do. I don't mean to pick on anybody. I don't. I, know, I don't want to offend anybody or hurt anybody. I'm picking on myself. But how many of you think that when you hear faith, it's like, come on, Jose, you could do it. You could do it. Come on. Come on, help me, help me, help me. I'm not going to ask you to lift your hand. But recognize what Holy Spirit is teaching us right now, that in the Spirit, say it with me, Holy Spirit. In Holy Spirit's faith, it's clearly marked right here in 2 Corinthians 4.13. You believe in Jesus, Brother Matt, then you start speaking Jesus. And that right there shows your spirit of faith. Why is the spirit of faith so important? It's because of the fact that we allow things to happen in our lives that we think that we're doing the right thing in praising, in worshiping, in coming to church, in living good lives, trying to live holy lives. Listen, all that is great. Can I get an amen? But when we do not exercise the spirit of faith, when we do not exercise the spirit of no sickness, no disease is coming to my house in Jesus' name. Amen. I am blessed with the greatest marriage in all of this world. Amen. Amen. Right? I have the most blessed mom in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm surrounded by the most blessed children of God here at Open Arms Community Church in Jesus' name. Amen. May I ask you something? When I say something... What can stop me from saying it? Nothing. You can be loud all you want, right? You can be disruptive. But when I speak it, let's give God praise. Here's auntie and uncle. Let's give God praise. Hallelujah. Woo! Healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Only a mighty man of God would, would face surgery and face everything and say, i got to be at church. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. My goodness, just drop the mic there. Amen. You see, the only thing that can stop me from speaking Jesus is me. The only thing that can stop things from being written down, right? So you see how intimate God is getting with us in discipleship. I know you hear from God. I know every, I know every one of you hear from God. I know every one of you hear from Holy Spirit. I know every one of you can speak the fire and anointing of Holy Spirit. Pentecostal fire wasn't an event. It's our existence. That fire roars on the inside. Do you want to be the Christian that has to go to some place to feel blessed? Or do you want to be the blessing? Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I'm surrounded by that, Elder Charles. I'm surrounded by that, beloved Melissa. I'm surrounded by that anointing. That where you're at, hallelujah, the glory of God. Oh, my goodness. Sister Faith, the glory of God just shines through you, all around you. And people just start being happy. <laughs> Amen. And the glory of God is, it's all Him. And all He's asking right now for Open Arms Community Church, write down my promises that I'm telling you. Amen. You want a better life? I know Holy Spirit's promised you. Write it down. You don't want to battle or put up with things anymore? God wants to see you. Write it down. Say it with me. Write it down. So we see these two. Document dictate. Amen. Say it with me. Discipleship. So we talk about an attack from the enemy. And this is what God takes me to a lot of times. When I'm personally going through a distraction from the evil one, 
or when my church family is going through something. This is my default scripture, but I don't do things religiously because there's other scriptures, but this is what God wanted me to share with you tonight, okay? Okay? Two people. All right, it's fine. I'm excited for you two people. <laughs> Attack from the enemy. This is what Holy Spirit wanted us to, br wanted to bring us to the prophet Isaiah. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. When God says no weapon, does that mean maybe one can slip in? Huh? When one. Will, will, will one slip by? Huh? Is there a chance for one? When God says no weapon, does he mean no weapon? Yes. Hallelujah. So let's read on. Amen. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Amen. Let's give God praise on that. Hallelujah. So what's a weapon? Cancer, COVID, depression, anxiety, huh? worry, right? That's a weapon of the enemy. But here Father God is saying through his prophet, through his anointing, through Holy Spirit, no weapon, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. This means no matter what the enemy tries to do, it will not succeed. Can I get a hallelujah? Amen. Woo. Get ready to fight. Praise God. Get ready to fight. Hallelujah. So when we apply this Isaiah 54, 17, you see it there in the blue. God wanted me to show you in discipleship how this works as we are obedient to the anointing of what Holy Spirit wants us to do in our relationship, in our intimacy with him. The written word would be, nothing the devil does to me will work. He already failed and will continue to fail in Jesus Christ's holy name. Yeah. Amen. That's, see, that's what, I wrote that down today. I wrote that down today. Hallelujah. I wrote that down today. And when I put this together, praise God, beloved David and sister, uh, Virginia came and blessed us with, oh, I know it's all the Lord, but blessed us with some food. And praise God, I wrote that down. And then when I, when I went back upstairs to finish the ser service, Holy Spirit said, I want you to type that. I want you to type down what you write, wrote down. Amen. And I'm thankful because I get to share this with you in, in how I am journaling things, how I'm writing things. But see, it doesn't stop here. Because remember, is this the spirit of faith? Hmm? You see, I, and you know I don't like tricking you guys, so I'm just going to move forward, okay? This is a part of the spirit of faith. Huh? Hallelujah? You don't get a gold star yet. Remember, because I just wrote it down. The spirit of faith is I believe, therefore I. Amen? So I want to I wanna share with you what I spoke, what I spoke today. I am covered by the holy blood of Father God in and through Christ my Lord. The power of Holy Spirit is in me and goes before me, rebuking the enemy and his light. His angels pushes evil far, far, far away from me in Jesus Christ's mighty and holy name. Amen. You got to, you got to, right? You got to exercise that spirit of faith. You see, how Holy Spirit is being so intimate with his church. God wants to be so, I know this sounds goofy when I say it, but so real to you. God doesn't want to be second or third. God doesn't want to be a God in your life that only when things are crashing down that you reach out and call for him. God wants to be your very breath. And that is Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is the one keeping us alive. When we lose our breath, the very next breath is in his presence. Amen. In Ephesians 6, 16 says this. In addition to all this, 
take up. And you see how everything just comes together now? Family, how important is it as a warrior back in the day, you know, you have your sword, you got your helmet, you got your belt, right? You, you got everything, right? And I was to tell you, Brother Adam, go fight. I pray you would say, bro, where's my shield? Oh, we don't got one for you. How important is it to have a shield in battle? So once again, when we exercise the spirit of faith in believing and speaking, speaking Jesus, how, how easy is this to, to exercise? You may hear somebody say, oh, you know what, I got a diagnosis from the doctor and it ain't, it ain't good. Well, I'm going to tell you, I got a diagnosis from good news. His name is Jesus. And what you're going through, he can take for you if you allow him to. Can I pray for you? Amen. What did you just do? You just exercised the spirit of faith. Let's go through the whole, the whole scripture. Take up the shield of faith, which, which you can. Who can? Which who can? Is God saying that he will or you will? Oh, come on, family. Is God saying that he will do it or you will do it? Hallelujah. You can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. You can. So it's as simple as when you hear something. See, we got to be careful because in Romans 10, 17, it says, faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. But if you hear something that you know doesn't sit well and you don't speak against it, you did not put up your shield. Right? Right? If you hear something that doesn't line up to the word of God, if I hear, you would never do this, but if I heard you call me stupid and I don't say nothing and I just meditate on that, I just let that arrow hit me hard. But if you call me stupid and I say, I'll pray for you, brother, but I'm a beloved son of God and I have God's wisdom. Amen. What happens there? That's it. The shield is up. God is glorified, and Holy Spirit says, you are mine, I'll take care of this battle. Amen? It's in that submission. You know, I love worshiping with Holy Spirit-filled worshipers. Why? Because you guys are so bright. Hallelujah. His presence, his glory is in all of you, and I'm just so thankful for that. And when we worship God and we go into the scriptures and we go into the pictures and all stuff, I am thankful for that. But sometimes I think that a picture says more than I could possibly preach. Amen. So when we talk about the spirit of faith in believing and speaking, remember, document and dictate. Document, say it with me, document and dictate. Remember, dictate is with, uh, yeah, let's just say authority. Almost had a cramp. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> If you notice, just by saying those two words, I document the goodness of my God and I dictate the goodness of my God. Just by saying this, just as I stand here before you, just by saying this, there's a power that is just overflowing within me. And his name is Holy Spirit. And in that spirit of faith and the shield of faith, God led me to these pictures right here. If this doesn't wake a soul up to see the spiritual realm, I don't know what will. See, there's some of us that have a shield so big, oh, hallelujah, that you can have so many people. And your shield, you know why? Because in the anointing of Holy Spirit, you're always speaking life. You're not judging nobody. You're not backbiting nobody. You're not talking bad about nobody. You're not being like the world. You're being apart from the world. Remember, we're not flappy birds, right? We're eagles. Amen. You know what a flappy bird is? A chicken. Right? Right? Do, do chickens fly? Huh?
All right, let me, all right, all right. All right, smart Alec. Do chicken, do chickens fly like eagles? I love you, brother. Amen. You all stand up on your feet with me. Praise God. <laughs> it's great to laugh. Amen. You already feel the anointing of Holy Spirit stirring in all of us. Amen. I'm excited about this season that is here and how deep we're going to get into the word of God and how God has already just tore down the walls. Amen. We are here in this blessed church, Open Arms Community Church, his holy place, but we're stepping out. And uh, we're excited because we're going to make disciples of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Being a disciple of the Lord Jesus. So uh, we only got one song to play this evening. Um, if you all need prayer, we have our elders here, pastors here. And please be obedient and ask them to pray for you and anoint you in oil. Listen, if there's something that you're struggling with, if something's going on in your body that does not belong, God has anointed them, ordained them to carry this power, this blessing. They will tell you themselves. Our elders will tell you themselves, it's not me, it's all him. But please, don't leave here tonight with that burden. Amen? Come to the altar. Hallelujah. <laughs> 